what's up my nerds and welcome back to my channel so i was organizing my bookshelf the other day and if for those who follow me on mongagram know that i reached out to my favorite local bookstore recently bolin books and asked if i could film in their store i'm happy to say that they emailed me back and said i could film so let's go first thing i do before i go to a bookstore obviously we need to grab a tote bag or two grab our keys and then we are out the door let's go i am so excited that they said i could film in their store you guys have absolutely no idea how much money i spend in their store i am a really good customer and that's just the tea so here i am walking up to the bookstore this is it bolin books they are my absolute favorite if you are ever in victoria for my far away viewers i definitely recommend coming to bolin books they have such an amazing selection so yeah let's get inside here i am pulling on the wrong door oh my gosh that was so embarrassing but we digress and it is time to get into the bookstore. And of course, you know, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna beeline to the manga section. They have such a beautiful manga section. And my favorite thing is that like, it's all organized by like type. So we have manga, we'll have the light novels, which we'll get to, but it's also alphabetical, oh yes alphabetical it is so satisfying to the eye i literally cannot i saw this studio ghibli book and it definitely caught my eye and i had to see what was inside and it was basically like all the backgrounds of like the movies and the production a really in-depth on like all their movies and you know i had to go to the howl's moving castle page it is my favorite ghibli movie ever i love it so much and then of course we are just in awe of the manga so here is some of their i think we're in d's and c's right now we have demon slayer as you guys know i do have the box set for this but they had pretty much every single volume if not every single volume we had the embracer size i definitely want to pick this up next time but i didn't this time as you guys will find out later i did actually limit myself to five books from the shelves we have free ren beyond journeys and this is one of my absolute favorite series that i started reading recently so you know i had to pick up volumes five and six as it's the next few volumes that i need and if you're wondering what i'm doing right now i am one of those people i am going to turn them to the side find the best spine and then i check the back the front and then i do also check in the actual book to make sure none of the pages are bent or anything and it is a process and obviously i do put the books back the way they were originally displayed i will never just be like i'm just gonna keep them this way now no we are not about that and sometimes like it takes a while to get in but see so i'm doing the book test right here and it's good so we are adding that to the pile and man i'm already two books out of my five so oh this is gonna be such a tough trip they also had her royal highness seems to be angry volume four and i I've been looking for this one for so long they had two volumes left but i haven't been keeping up with this series i read volume two and i loved it i definitely want to get it but it was just not today i am gonna save it for the next time i go into their store which will probably be at the end of this month so i mean like stay tuned for maybe another book vlog if they give me the okay for that i also saw this one gap papa which i didn't realize that the whole thing was in color which definitely made it have a little pricey panty but I'm definitely gonna come back for it because I've heard really good things and it looks absolutely adorable, but it just was not today. She was she was pricey and as I mentioned, you guys are gonna see why I'm like limiting myself to only five books. We of course had our Jojo and we are Jujutsu Kaisen section. I stopped collecting Jujutsu Kaisen. I think I have like volumes, I'm looking over at my shelf, 16, 17, no 15. I'm at volume 15. I don't know if I should continue the series. What do you guys think? Leave that in the comments. There was Kami Communicate this one has been in my like to read list for so long but there's just like so many volumes that i'm like do i read it online first i'm not too sure if i'm gonna like it what are your guys' thoughts on it they also had yozakura family now this one they left me on a cliffhanger so here is book three of the ones that we are going to be getting so here's me just like deciding which spine was the best and then just double checking the back and the front and then making sure that the insides are nice and beautiful and that there are no bents in the pages because there's just one thing that I don't like and that is bents in my pages. Now, although I always check to make sure there's no bends in the spines or dings, Bolin Books is really good for making sure their books are pristine. Like they treat their books with the utmost care and respect. From the time I've shopped here, like hardcore shopped when I started collecting manga back in 2020, I've only ever come across one book with like a bent corner and I brought it up to the front and they were like, oh my gosh, and they immediately took it off the floor. So yeah, oh my gosh, They're, everything's always in pristine condition and I definitely wanted to pick this one up, but again, next time. 
I just find so much joy in collecting manga. Y'all, I could literally spend forever in here. This is another one that Yen Press came out with recently, Pandora 7. It definitely looks like something I want to pick up. It's giving me like very fantasy vibes. For some reason, I mean, obviously, if you haven't seen the new Avatar movie, when I think Pandora, I am thinking like Avatar, Blue Monkeys kind of thing, but it does look really, really cool and I definitely want to be picking it up next time I'm in. We have a little bit of solo leveling. We have the entire section of Spy X Family. I also want to know, do you guys think that they're going to do a box set for Spy X Family? Because I feel like that that would be a really cool, dope box set that I would want to get my hands on. So like, do I keep collecting the singles or do I wait for the box set? Who knows? They have Tokyo Ghoul, Tokyo Ravengers, and then they have the section of Wotakoi. And would you believe that the only volume of Wotakoi I need is the regular volume 6? I have every single special edition volumes they have. And yeah, why not? It's such a great series. So this is their light novel section. It is so good. And I know, oh my gosh, don't come for me. I haven't picked any of these up yet, but I do plan to eventually. I'm just more of a picture person and I'm not great with just not having pictures in it and just reading words. I'm a manga person through and through. We also have our LGBTQ section. This is such a good section. I love it so much. And of course, you know, the spicy ones are wrapped, which I think is like something that has to happen anywhere that sells books that the spicy ones are wrapped. I like to do a favor that if they're not wrapped, I will pick the ones that are not wrapped so that kids aren't viewing things that they shouldn't be. All right, and this is the last book I decided to pick up from my five is Megami and Sugumi. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. Anyways, I read it online and I absolutely loved it. It was so cute. It is an Omegaverse, so if you're into that, definitely pick it up. It is so cute. I can't wait to get the rest of the volumes when they come out, but I'm gonna add that to my pile just like that. But I do wanna take you guys around the rest of the store because they have so much more to offer other than manga. So yeah, I just love this store so much and let's go. So they have a TikTok table of TikTok books made me buy it. I think that this is so fun and I noticed a lot of the books on this table my other friend has actually read and books that she's tried to get me to read that I haven't read. If you haven't read Heartstopper though, you are seriously missing out. It is such a good series. I also like that they have these cute little aesthetic headers above all their sections. So we have poetry, we have fiction, we have mystery hard covers, which means there's also a soft cover section, ooh la la. There was this super cute section of Star Wars and like Pokemon stickers and you know I almost picked up some Pokemon stickers. I am a big Pokemon girl. There was an entire section dedicated to Harry Potter and Harry Potter gets me every time around the holidays. I don't know what it is. Is Harry Potter considered like a Christmas movie? I always see them streaming it around the holidays. So like, is that a thing? Y'all gotta let me know. They have an entire wall of puzzles. Oh my goodness. I am a big sucker for puzzles, especially like sweet puzzles. So like with donuts or teacups or like fun things. And then I saw this Star Wars puzzle and I almost left with it, but I knew I had some books to pick up at the front. So I held back. I also own this super cute turquoise cat mug. It is one of my absolute faves. They also had their staff picks, which I thought was super cute. I'm definitely gonna be doing a poll regarding this. So by month, year, and of all time, it was super cool to see all the staff's favorite books. If you haven't watched Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, highly recommend. I definitely need to read the book myself, but there was so many good recommendations that the staff had. It was awesome. But now it was time to go to the checkout. And this is why, guys, this is why I only picked up five books from the shelf because your girl, oh my goodness, your girl, she she did some damage. So here I am putting up my five books and here is the sweet lady at the cashier bringing my stack of books that came in. And not just one stack, no, no, two stacks of books that came in that I had ordered from them. They are so good at hunting down books that you need. Like y'all told me to get Nana. So I like ordered the entire series and it came in so quickly. Like it said it was gonna take like a month and they came in like two weeks. So it was so speedy. But that's the haul. Now it's time to go home and organize it digitally, which is something new I've done this year. If you guys want to know how I do that, leave that in the comments below and I will make a video for you guys. But thank you so much, Bolin Books, for letting me film my very first book vlog for this channel in your store. I cannot wait to be back. But that is all I have for this video, guys. I love you a lot and I will see you in the next one. Bye!